2023 is proving to be a great year for Allison Williams. The Megan star's doll-destroying beatdown has inspired so many fans to revisit her lead role in beloved HBO series Girls, and now she has another HBO hit in her sights for the future. The American actress recently opened up about her hopes of being cast in The White Lotus. So can you expect to see Williams pop up in White Lotus Season 3? Well, it's too early to say anything, but in this video we have all the juicy details regarding Season 3 of White Lotus, and yes, what Allison Williams has to say about the show. Stay tuned. So HBO and Mike White have renewed the satire comedy series for a third season, and there's some amazing details about the setting. The creator of the anthology series revealed his plans for the upcoming season in the bonus clip attached to the end of the season 2 finale. The author said that he wanted season 3 to focus on death, eastern religion, and spirituality. Due to the theme involved, he would also like the upcoming season to be set in Asia. While Mike hasn't revealed the location for season 3, our wild guess is the filming will take place somewhere in East Asia, probably Japan, considering the Eastern religion theme. It would be interesting to see how Mike shapes the plot around Eastern religion and death. Speaking of the cast, we definitely won't see Jennifer Coolidge return to Season 3 after her untimely death in Season 2. Mike has, however, floated the idea around about having another Season 1 actress potentially come back into the fold. We're referring to Connie Britton, who played Nicole in Season 1. Britton told Deadline that Mike had a role for her in the second season, but she unfortunately didn't get the part due to changes in the script. However, she's definitely going to be a part of Season 3. Mike also teased that Michael Imperioli could possibly rejoin the cast after portraying Dominic DeGrosso in Season 2, according to Esquire. Another actress who seems hopeful of joining the White Lotus cast in Season 3 is girl star Allison Williams. Williams opened up about her aspirations to join HBO's buzzy vacation dramedy in her January 13 profile in British GQ. She said she feels like she belongs to the show and that she's a big fan. If given a chance, she'd take up the role without hesitation. If White didn't have Williams in mind for season 3 before, he may now, especially since the actor has been getting widespread praise for her blend of tense drama and campy ridiculousness in Megan. Williams is also top of mind as part of a notable resurgence in interest in Girls, the seminal 2012 series in which she played the high-strung musician Marnie. The decade-old show has gotten so much increased attention on TikTok and Twitter at the start of the year that Vice even dubbed 2023 the year of the girls' renaissance. Like her performance in Megan, Williams' girls' performance also proves she's the perfect White Lotus candidate. Marnie is best known for her incredible cringy moments like her awkward Kanye West cover or her humiliating music video. And it's that very same uncomfortable cringe comedy that The White Lotus thrives on. White Lotus Season 1 was an award-winning success, but Season 2 did the unthinkable by being even better than the OG. It's rare for a TV series to avoid a sophomore slump, but The White Lotus Season 2 did it with a riveting plot and wanderlust-worthy filming location. While Hawaii is a dream destination for many, Italy has moved to the top of many people's travel bucket list recently. When you're overseas, you can even stay in the White Lotus Noto Villa that's on Airbnb to rent. That's right, the Noto Italy Villa that Harper and Daphne spent a memorable night in during Episode 3 of the White Lotus Season 2 is now on Airbnb. There are actually quite a few White Lotus Season 2 filming locations in Sicily that you may want to visit now that you've finished watching all seven episodes. There's the actual White Lotus Hotel, aka the Four Seasons San Domenico Palace, and the various villas featured during the show, like Quentin's Villa. Of course, traveling to Quentin's Villa in Palermo ended up being a terrible decision for Tanya, but staying in the villa that Daphne and Harper have their girls trip at may be one of the best decisions you've ever made. As expensive as it is to stay at the White Lotus Villa, it may be worth it for fans to live like Daphne and Harper for a few nights, minus the drama, of course. So when can you expect to see Season 3 of The White Lotus on air? Well, we don't know for sure as of now. HBO is yet to announce a release date for The White Lotus Season 3, but we can deduce a rough time frame based on the pattern established so far. There was roughly one year and three months separating Season 1 and Season 2, so it's reasonable to assume that the next episodes will follow a similar cycle. If so, that would land The White Lotus Season 3 with a release date in late 2023 or early 2024. Are you excited for Season 3? Let us know what you think and who you'd want to see in the next season down in the comments below. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as we have more videos like this here on our channel.
Thanks for watching.